Guys, let me tell you. A bunch of evil investors out there have been buying up the Fear game for the Xbox 360 and Fear Files, which is a standalone Xbox 360 exclusive expansion to Fear. Fear is a three-game series, four games if you include the expansion, standalone expansion. However, I have now solved the mystery on why these prices have been skyrocketing. Prices have gone through the roof, and it seemingly happened overnight. And what happened was fear number one and fear, the standalone expansion, fear vials, were delisted from the Xbox store while also being uh, backwards compatible. So, so they are compatible with the newer Xbox. You don't necessarily need a 360 to play it. That's great news for us retro collectors. That's wonderful news. But now you got to fork over an arm and a leg to get it. So the smart sons of bitches out there, you smart little bastards, as soon as this was announced, they went out and bought all the copies. So let's have a look here. October, this was $10.93 Canadian. I'm going to leave it on the Canadian prices. And they're actually a little bit higher. Um, Usually, the, the real today price is usually a little bit higher than whatever price charting is charting it at. But it's already now 30, 41 60 complete. It's actually a little bit higher if you can actually get your hands on a copy. And this is fear number one. I already went through fear files in a previous video. I'm not going to go through that again. Today's date is March 7th, 2022. Those smart sons of bitches, the announcement was made in November, as far as I understand. And the price instantly doubled overnight, by the looks of it. And it has not stopped going up since. If you want this game, I suggest you buy it. I don't care if it's a... I don't care if it even got... By some miracle, it got relisted. Just go and buy the physical, because it's not always going to be available. So the reason it got delisted, based on what I've been told is because the first two, so Fear and Fear Files, were published by Sierra, whereas Warner Brothers Entertainment published number two and number three. This is Fear Files, and there were some other delisted games, found a random blog here around the same time. Uh, some of them, I think, were, were re-uploaded. There was, there, there was a big list of games that got delisted for some reason. But 50 Cent Blood on the Sand was on here. A couple of others. And yeah, 50 Cent. I already knew that one went through the roof. Oh my gosh, let's pull up 50 Cent. Oh my gosh. And luckily, I already own it. I bought all the rare ones early. Oh my gosh. Oh, it, it keeps going up. Oh my gosh. Look at this. $120. $120. But guess what? Not that long ago, this was a $20 game. $20, $25 game. $20, $20. Nothing but $20. Bucks. $21 Canadian. I'm talking Canadian here. You guys want me to switch over to U.S.? It's going to get even cheaper. $92. Okay, now, now we're in the $16, $15 range. Not even $20 once we get lower. Oh, yeah, but it's still $20. Okay. So, here's the thing. 360 prices are going up. 360 is starting, is really just getting in. We're still in the early days. You can still get the future $500 game. For under a hundred or under fifty today, you can still get those games. It's not as easy as it was in 2020, or even earlier, just six months ago. It's not. It's not as easy anymore. But it can be done. So if you do, 
uh, happen to, you know, find something at a pawn shop, garage sale, online, whatever. Just go and buy it now. Don't nickel and dime. I made that mistake in the past with Super Nintendo games. And now those same Super Nintendo games are $400 because I cheaped out and didn't want to pay $80. And I'm going to give you another example, 360 example. The pawn shop near my house used to sell 360 games for $3, every game, no matter what. Whereas PS3, they, they were going to eBay prices. For some reason, they thought 360 hadn't, hadn't had its move yet. But then January 22, 2022, January, that's just two, three months ago. They changed, they changed it. It's all eBay pricing now. They're, they're on price charting. They know the prices. In fact, they're overcharging because they know that the prices are going to come up to match that price eventually. So like if Wolverine is 30 bucks, they're charging 40 because they don't give a crap. They know that either somebody's going to pay 40 because they don't know they can get it for 30 on eBay. Or they know, hey, the prices are trending up. Look at this chart. Look at the chart. The trend is, is clearly up. Let's just leave it at 40 And when it goes up to $40, $50, somebody's going to come in and buy it. We don't need to um, pay attention to the chart. These are just regular Joe Smith employees. They don't watch the, the charts like stocks for these retro games. They make a sticker and, and they're done. That's it. That's the, the price forever. So go and get a, a Fear Files. And go and get year number one for the 360. And keep on collecting, guys. I'm never going to quit collecting games. Physical games are the only games I care about. Physical games only. Guys, if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. My goal is to one day hit over 9,000 subscribers. And please leave a comment below if you have any insight as to why the rights were taken away for, for fear one and fear files from sierra like what happened behind the scenes did it expire can it ever be renewed is there a reason why it cannot be renewed is there is it something to do with music like kind of like 50 cent that'll never get renewed is there a music licensing issue what is going on leave a comment below